welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. I'm here at the Aviva Stadium. Uh, we're just after seeing the UEFA Euro, Euro, Euro 17 draw. John actually picked out all the balls. A very favourable group in regards to uh, the Republic of Ireland. So people are saying, I'm not that well informed in regards, but there's a real buzz around the uh, underage setup at the moment. How has the noise has it been for you coming over here as ambassador, seeing the draw? And what's, what's the buzz been like for yourself? Yeah, fantastic. Fantastic to finally get the draw done, obviously, when just speaking to the manager, Colin, there quickly. Um, the buzz he's, he's got from today as well, because obviously there's been a bit of build-up since we've known that um, Ireland is hosting the tournament. So uh, a lot of buzz behind it. And hopefully, hopefully it's a, it's a favourable draw. But the teams, obviously, that qualify to the latter stages of the, these tournaments have, have a bit of quality about them. So... Um, Greece, Czech Republic and Belgium, so it's uh, hopefully it's a good draw, but time will tell. Yeah, well, I suppose Belgium is, is the real threat in there, I think they finished in the semi-finals, people yeah. were saying inside. Um, I was actually watching K uh, Care's Kids this morning before I came here, just to kind of get myself buzzed. It, 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 it must bring back good memories for you yourself when you were that age as well. Amazing, amazing memories really, and I think that's the thing, hopefully this, this team will, will get the chance to, 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 get, to feel some of their memories, especially on home soil. I think as well, we, obviously our tournament was on up in Scotland and the momentum that we got. That's when you had to bring your, your leaving cert books, didn't you? Exactly, yeah. I, did, I brought them now, but I don't, I don't <laughs> think didn't I used them. them yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, the, the, the buzz that we got from, from winning the games early in the group and going on to compete against the teams that we did and to beat Italy then in the final was, uh, was something that's, that's lived with us for a long time, you know. So that was the confidence that Brian and Noel gave us back then. Was uh, was very special. Yeah, they seem to have a lot of uh, experience. But then uh, people were saying there that uh, Colin, this is his third finals. Mm. Um, what what do you think people who might not know a lot about this team can expect if, if they were to come to games, like yeah, wherever? Yeah, well, I think obviously at uh, Waterford would be a special yeah, occasion for yourself. Exactly. I think the second game that they play will be down in Waterford on uh, I think it's the sixth of May, sixth or seventh of May. So uh, that I know that'll get huge, huge backing as, as they always do down there. Um, I just think they'll they'll get a team that will want to play attacking good football, especially on home soil. They'll want to take it to teams. I was chatting to Colin about they played uh, Belgium and the Czech Republic recently too in friendly games, so they'll have a good idea, obviously, of what they're going to be facing. Um, so hopefully then that those little details will pay off when it comes to the tournament time. Yeah, and hopefully us being the host of whatever, we can put on a good show and maybe get a lot of people to the to be able to cheer on the lads and maybe who knows, maybe even win it. Exactly. Hey, look, as I said, if they can get the momentum early, you've seen some of the the, the teams there that are drawn against each other in the, in the other groups as well. So we could get a favourable draw throughout the tournament. And eventually, you have to, if you want to go and win it, you have to play some of the some of the so-called bigger boys. But on home soil, there'll be nobody bigger than us. Well, there you have it, guys. Make sure if you are around any of the stadiums, these Warford, Longford, Dublin, and Wicklow. Did I get that right? I think pretty much well, long for as well. Yeah, I think it's a long for yeah. So uh, drop on down. Huge thanks to John for his time. What a man. Hasn't aged at all. Uh, but there you go. Uh, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe. We'll speak to you all soon. Thanks for watching. Top man, John. Thanks very much.